So do you anticipate being world-class in multiple games? I think so, yeah. <laughs> you got your perspective. I just wanna be happy, don't you wanna be happy? We have a very special guest, probably the youngest of our guest speakers today. Um, we're really excited that Kyle Buga Geersdorf is here. He's a 17 year old professional Fortnite streamer and player of the Sentinels Esports organization. He has been crowned the Fortnite world champion in 2019 by beating out 40 million competitors, wow, <laughs> worldwide. And he outscored the final 100 contestants in the finals. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Kyle play, but the dexterity and, 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 and the speed of which he works is just phenomenal to watch. Uh, Buga was also crowned both the PC Rookie Player of the Year and the PC Player of the Year at the Esports Awards last November uh, of 2019. Kyle, or should we call you Buga, we are so excited that you are here. He is at B-U-G-H-A on Twitter. Welcome to the show. What's up, guys? Thank you for having me. It's so good to see you. We, we <laughs> met last year at the Super Bowl with your parents, and you have the coolest setup out of all of us, I have to admit. And, and very good taste in hoodie material. I'm very, I'm very thankful for that, Kyle. <laughs> I appreciate the shout. Brother, what, uh, first of all, it's great to see you. I hope you've been well. It's always great to see you instead of just texting. Um, <laughs> what's the biggest, from your perspective as one of the great players in this space, going through it, obviously having the iconic moment that a lot of you, like you were the reason a lot of people took note about esports or that tournament you're winning and how big the prize money was. Obviously that made enormous news throughout the world. Like what do you continue to like laugh in your young man's head when you hear people talking about esports because you're in it and what kind of makes you snicker or laugh? What's the biggest misperception you think from the, the masses or the parents or the mainstream media or just like that, that cliche thing that always makes you kind of snicker of like, if they only knew. Yeah. I mean, it would probably be like thinking that all gamers are just these sit behind their desk nerds. They don't do anything else. They just play the game 24 seven are unhealthy, all that. Like <laughs> that's just, honestly, it's not true at least for me, but um, it's probably the biggest thing. And what about, and what about how you see, you know, the space evolving. What's the biggest difference in the macro space? And again, what's great about a show like this is we have CMOs and we have, you know, obviously after this, a team owner, but like from just your perspective, from your eyes, what's the biggest thing that's shifting in the last six months or 12 months uh, about the space, about, even, and, and by the way, even if you want to go into your, your own gameplay or things of that nature, like what's kind of happening? Yeah, I mean, recently esports has just been like evolving and blowing up. I've seen so many more businesses, organizations, just everyone's just getting into esports now. Just it's growing widely. Um, but for me right now, playing Fortnite, there hasn't been too much in the Fortnite scene, just kind of like a new season going on. But um, you see a lot about, more really popping in. What about, you know, this is probably going to be fun for people here, like just your perspective. What about the younger crew? Of players coming up right like yeah. what are you even seeing from like the 12 13 oh, 14 yeah, yeah. year old set and you're like whoa that kid like i think people you know obviously you're paying attention you're seeing different ways people are playing and i also know that you're expanding and trying out different games and things of that nature anything anything catching your eye as an innovation like anything from a hardware what kids are using or mindsets or strategies or any kind of nerdy deep like i know a lot of people watching who are players or aspirational players so you can give us a different perspective here yeah, I mean, all the time, players are evolving. Everyone's getting better at the game. Like, all the younger players right now are kind of coming up and pushing some of the older guys out because they're so much more mechanical and they're, like, way better in fights and everything. So some of them are kind of dominating right now. But for me, real I'm quick, still real hanging quick, in there. Real quick, real quick. Tell everybody how old you are and how old these <laughs> young guys are because, you know, literally you just delivered. I'm still hanging in there, and I think – a collective <laughs> 10,000 people just threw up because like, they're like, wait, yeah. now what is this kid to do? But like, but paint the picture. You as like an older guy or an OG, like what age group are you talking about? Some of the younger guys and where do, where do you sit in comparison by age? Yeah, I'm 17 and in the Fortnite scene right now, that's kind of like middle age coming up to the like later ages. <laughs> and the younger guys are like 13, 14. They're all coming up, but 
Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of shocking. Like, I'm 17 and I'm in the middle age group, kind of <laughs> later age group in a game. Like, I, that's just so weird. Kyle, your perspective, one last thing before we get to Rob, and I really appreciate you taking time because I know how busy you are for jumping on and giving us some firepower here. Do you think in esports, we don't think about LeBron, even though LeBron James actually talks about playing tight end in the NFL, like the magnitude of like the way professional sports as we've known it, you haven't seen that crossover. Your prediction, your own opinion of your own self, and I know you have great quiet confidence, so I'm just giving you the mm-hmm. room to speak to that. The crossover ability, you know, Deion Sanders, Bo Jackson, two of the only ones who've ever really done it. Do you, as these games get established and we really see 7, 12, 19, 22 esports really capturing the attention of the world, do you personally anticipate certain kids coming along and being great at three or four? Do you think that's too hard? Your hot take, because I'm genuinely curious about how that plays out. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I think a lot of it is just dependent upon the person. So like me, for example, any game that I'm going to, I'm always trying to improve. I'm always trying to get really good at it. I feel like that's just my competitive drive. So I don't know. I think it would be easy if you are that type of person, but if you're not, maybe you're just good at one game. But for me personally, I think I can be good. So do you anticipate being world-class in multiple games? I think so. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and and do, when you watch other people and you're just watching the scene, have you seen some people emerge? Do, do you think do you think it is a psychological competitiveness? Oh, hundred percent, yeah. And and you don't think it's a hand-eye kind of core? Like you don't you think it's certain genre games will map? Like does Fortnite map to being good at FIFA, or is that completely uh, impossible in your mind of making that transition versus another game that has a similar format? Yeah, like, if we're going to another, like, third-person shooter, I think it could translate really well. Right. But I think it would take more time to get used to, like, a sports game or something entirely different. So Understood. Well, Kyle, listen, I, I want to get to Rob because I think he's going to bring some great perspective for the people on. And I really appreciate you making the time and kind of surprise guesting here. So thank you. Uh, thank you for having me, guys. Hey, everybody on YouTube. First of all, thank you so much. So humbled for your time. I don't wear a watch, but time is the biggest asset. So thank you for watching that video. If uh, if you got some value out of that, there's uh, plenty more where that came from. Feel free to check it out.